Think turboprops are slow? Think again. These 10 twin engine beasts are breaking speed records in 2026. Twin engine turboprops combine efficiency, speed, and versatility, making them a smart choice for regional flights, business, and cargo missions. And here's where it gets interesting. Twin turboprops aren't just planes with two props spinning on either side. They're sleek, efficient machines designed to punch above their weight. Spot one taxiing down the runway, and you immediately notice that signature look. Two engines, one on each wing humming with power, ready to launch. These planes aren't just about looks, they're about smart travel. Fuel efficiency? Check. Reliability? Absolutely. Speed? You wouldn't believe it until you see them climb into the sky. For short-haul flights or regional hops, they offer a smooth, steady ride without guzzling fuel like jets. And versatility is their middle name. Cargo, passengers, patrols, twin turboprops handle it all, often in places jets can't even land. So if you ever thought turboprops were just slow props, think again. These are the unsung heroes of regional skies, quietly outperforming expectations and proving speed doesn't have to mean a jet engine. Saab 340. But wait, let's talk about one that set the standard, the Saab 340. Imagine a Swedish aircraft, a product of Saab and Fairchild quietly dominating regional skies. Compact, yes, but it's no underdog. With seats for 30 to 36 passengers, it's perfect for short hops that still need comfort. By 2018, around 240 of these were flying for 34 different operators worldwide. Proof it's not just a novelty, it's a workhorse. Step aboard and you'd be surprised. Despite its modest size, it cruises at 271 knots, or about 312 miles per hour. That's fast enough to feel the thrill, but smooth enough that your coffee barely trembles. Airlines love it because it blends passenger capacity with fuel efficiency. Less burn, more bang for their buck. And here's the kicker, versatility. It's a regional airline's dream, handling everything from commuter routes to commercial travel without breaking a sweat. Ever wondered what efficient speed feels like in a small plane? Saab 340 is your answer. Would you have guessed a plane this size could hit that kind of velocity? Wait, you're watching right now but not subscribed to the channel. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button so we can move on with the video. You did? Okay, cool. Now back to the planes. ATR-72 Just when you thought twin turboprops couldn't get bigger, meet the ATR-72. This French-Italian marvel isn't messing around. It comfortably seats around 72 passengers, making it a true workhorse for regional travel. Imagine stepping onto one of these planes. It's bigger than the Saab 340, yet still nimble enough to handle short, tricky airstrips that would scare most jets away. Its versatility is what blows my mind. Airlines aren't the only ones putting it to work. Cargo missions, corporate travel, even maritime patrols. The ATR-72 does it all without skipping a beat. And the speed? It cruises at 280 knots, roughly 322 miles per hour. That's enough to make your stomach do a little flip on takeoff, but still smooth enough for a relaxed flight. Fuel efficiency is another highlight. With low CO2 emissions and operating costs that don't break the bank, it's an eco-friendly option that still packs a punch. Plus, its ability to tackle extreme conditions, think high-altitude airports, scorching heat, short or unpaved runways, 
keeps remote communities connected to the world. Imagine relying on this plane to bring essential goods or a passenger flight to a town off the grid. That's real-life versatility in motion. Have you ever flown somewhere and wondered how they even get planes onto that tiny runway? The ATR-72 makes it look effortless. Swearingen slash Fairchild Merlin. But here's a lighter, faster twist. The Swearingen Merlin, later produced by Fairchild. This pressurized business turboprop isn't huge, but it packs a serious punch. Seating two crew members and up to nine passengers, it's perfect for business travel, government missions, or even light military use. Step inside, and you feel the efficiency instantly. It's not just about speed, though cruising at 300 knots, around 345 miles per hour, gives you a little thrill, but also adaptability. One flight might carry executives on a tight schedule. The next could be ferrying government officials or even running utility missions that demand reliability and flexibility. What makes it stand out isn't just raw performance. It's the blend of versatility and precision. This plane can hop between airports that larger aircraft wouldn't dare touch, all while keeping passengers comfortable and crew in control. Pilots and operators alike value it because it gets the job done fast and without fuss. Wouldn't you want a plane that can handle nearly anything you throw at it while still feeling sleek and nimble in the air? That's the swearing and Merlin in a nutshell. Cessna 441, Conquest II. And now, let's talk about the Cessna 441 Conquest II, a plane that literally bridges two worlds. It's the sweet spot between the old-school piston aircraft and sleek jets. You get that turbocharged speed without losing the efficiency that made Cessna famous. It's small but mighty, seating eight to nine passengers comfortably, making it a favorite among corporate and charter operators who need reliability and speed in one package. And speed? This plane cruises at 300 knots, or about 345 miles per hour, enough to get you from city to city faster than you'd expect from a turboprop. What's remarkable is how well it balances performance with efficiency. Fuel burn is reasonable, and its service ceiling lets it soar higher than many of its peers, giving passengers a smoother ride above the turbulence and keeping travel times short. The Conquest II proves you don't need a jet engine to feel like you're flying fast. It's precise, dependable, and built for operators who want to get things done quickly without compromise. Have you ever wondered how some small planes manage jet-like speeds without the jet-sized cost? That's the magic of the Cessna 441, Beechcraft Super King Air 350i. But if size and legacy matter, nothing quite compares to the Beechcraft Super King Air 350Y. This isn't just another turboprop, it's an institution. With nearly 50 years in continuous production, it's arguably the longest running civilian turboprop out there. And it's easy to see why. Seats up to eight passengers in a cabin that's quiet, spacious, and surprisingly comfortable for a plane this fast. At a cruising speed of 312 knots, or roughly 359 miles per hour, 
It hits that sweet spot between speed and luxury. Pilots love it for its reliability and handling. Passengers love it for the smooth ride, and operators love it for its versatility. Versatile is an understatement. Civilian flights, government missions, military operations. You name it, the Super King Air 350i can handle it. And customization options are extensive. Layouts, avionics, and even interiors can be tailored to the mission at hand. Imagine stepping on board and having a plane that feels just as much like a private jet as it does a workhorse. That's the kind of balance the 350i achieves, combining performance, practicality, and prestige in one remarkable aircraft. Have you ever seen a plane that stood the test of time this way? The Super King Air 350i isn't just fast, it's iconic. Beechcraft Starship 2000A. Now brace yourself for the Beechcraft Starship 2000A, a plane that feels like it came from the future. This was the first all-composite pressurized business aircraft ever made, and it shows. Its striking canard design and pusher turboprop engines give it a look, and performance that most planes can only dream of. Inside, it's built for executives. You've got room for one or two crew members and up to six passengers, all enjoying a smooth, quiet ride. And speed? This baby cruises at 335 knots, about 385 miles per hour. That's turbocharged business travel where efficiency meets excitement. But here's the kicker. Despite its groundbreaking design, only six starships remain operational today. It wasn't a mass market hit, but the ones still flying are like hidden gems, quietly proving how innovative turboprops can be. It's not just a plane, it's a statement, a glimpse into what's possible when engineers push boundaries. Imagine boarding one and feeling like you're piloting something decades ahead of its time. That's the Starship experience. Wouldn't you want a plane that combines executive comfort with speed and pure engineering audacity? Bombardier DHC-8 Q400 But sometimes, raw utility wins out over flashy design, and that's where the Bombardier DHC-8 Q400 comes in. This is a plane built to move people efficiently, reliably, and fast, especially on short-haul regional routes. Over 1,200 of these aircraft have been produced, making it a cornerstone of regional travel around the world. It's not trying to be a private jet. It's designed for the everyday workhorse role, and it does it spectacularly. The Q400 cruises at an impressive 360 knots, or roughly 414 miles per hour, which is remarkable for a turboprop built for efficiency rather than luxury. Passengers might not notice the speed on takeoff, but the time saved over multiple regional hops adds up fast, keeping flights tight and schedules on point. Airlines love it because it can handle high-frequency routes with minimal fuss. It's reliable, predictable, and doesn't demand a ton of runway space, which opens up a lot of smaller airports that bigger jets can't reach. And for travelers, that means connectivity, more flights, fewer delays, and a faster way to get where you're going. So when efficiency and speed matter more than flash, the DHC-8 Q400 is the clear champion. It proves that a plane doesn't need to be flashy to be remarkable. Wouldn't you want a ride that gets you there faster without compromise? Piper Cheyenne 400 LS.
And now, the Piper Cheyenne 400 LS, a plane built to compete at the top. This is an upgraded version of the Cheyenne 3, specifically designed to go head-to-head -head with the Cessna Citation I. It didn't just aim to compete, it aimed to dominate, and the numbers back it up. Powered by 1,000 horsepower engines and equipped with four or five blade propellers, the Cheyenne 400 LS isn't shy about speed. Cruising between 351 and 360 knots, around 404 to 414 miles per hour, it's fast enough to give pilots and passengers a thrill without feeling unsafe. And it wasn't just about top speed. In 1985, this aircraft set multiple climb records, showing off raw performance that few in its class could touch. Inside, it seats a standard number of passengers comfortably, blending business utility with sporty performance. Corporate travelers, charter operators, and performance enthusiasts alike have valued it for decades, and it still stands out as a benchmark for what a twin turboprop can achieve. Imagine climbing into a plane where every takeoff feels like a calculated surge of power, and every landing is a reminder of engineering mastery. That's the Cheyenne 400 LS, a perfect combination of speed, power, and reliability. Piaggio P180 Avanti And then there's the Piaggio P180 Avanti, a plane that looks like it broke all the rules and got away with it. This Italian masterpiece is built for executive and VIP travel, blending speed, style, and innovation in one sleek package. Its pusher propeller configuration and three surface wing design give it a smooth, quiet cabin while slicing through the air with minimal drag. Seating up to nine passengers, the Avanti makes business travel feel effortless. Speed is where it stuns. With a claimed 576 knots, roughly 663 miles per hour, it's in a class of its own for turboprops. Even if that number seems almost unreal, there's no denying its aerodynamic sophistication. The design isn't just flashy. Every curve, every surface has a purpose maximizing efficiency while keeping passengers comfortable. It's perfect for executives or VIPs who want the thrill of speed without sacrificing a serene, well-appointed cabin. The Avanti proves that turboprops don't have to be utilitarian. They can be luxurious, fast, and innovative all at once. Twin-engine turboprops aren't just efficient, they're fast, versatile, and innovative. From regional commuters to VIP jets, these 10 aircraft prove that speed and practicality can perfectly coexist in 2026's aviation world. So, what's your take on these turboprop marvels? Drop it in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.